Getting the influenza vaccine takes a matter of minutes. But did you know that it takes one year of preparation to reach this point? The year-long process from manufacturing to population access is a key characteristic of the seasonal influenza vaccine's journey. The manufacturing process for the next influenza season starts as early as November. At this point, reference labs around the world collect wild specimens of the virus carried by humans and analyze its genetic makeup to determine which will probably be the most common circulating viral strains the vaccine manufacturers kick-start the manufacturing process with sourcing of raw materials. In February, the World Health Organization officials meet with worldwide experts to develop recommendations on which virus strains should be included in the seasonal influenza vaccines. As the next step, laboratories prepare the selected virus seeds and distribute them to manufacturers to begin the production process. A total of four strains need to be manufactured to produce a quadrivalent influenza vaccine, which is a vaccine that protects population from the four main virus strains that are expected to be predominant in the influenza season. By March, the production of the first strain is completed and manufacturing of the remaining strains continues. This also means that there is no more room to increase the total volume of vaccines produced. At national level, all countries' demand should be finalized by now to secure enough vaccine supply. By June, the manufacturing of all four recommended strains is completed. Following this, the quadrivalent vaccine is formulated and the vials and syringes are filled. Then, the packaging of vaccine starts. It is important to keep in mind that packaging and labelling are country-specific, so once this phase starts, no more changes can be made to the vaccine shipping. Throughout the whole process, quality controls take place to ensure that vaccines are manufactured in line with international standards. Before vaccines are shipped, each batch of vaccines must be specifically released, both internally by the manufacturer and externally by specialized control laboratories of health authorities. Only then can vaccines be packed and shipped for international distribution. By September, vaccine delivery usually starts in European countries. Once vaccine supplies reach a country, they are, in turn, administered to the population in line with the recommendations set by local health authorities. Depending on the country, such vaccines can be administered in different settings. For instance, by general practitioners, pharmacists, nurses, in vaccination centers and or nursing homes. While the population receives its influenza vaccine, national authorities monitor the vaccine uptake, which helps better forecast the demand for the next influenza season. Following this step, the vaccine journey for this influenza season comes to an end, and preparations to prevent next year's season's influenza starts again. By November, the next cycle of vaccine manufacturing begins, with vaccine companies gearing up to combat seasonal influenza.